World Final of the Men's to the individual asymmetric bars final for the ladies. Of 9.762 from the Republic of Belarus, Yelena Fiskun. Well, we first take a look at the ceremony for the first final of two to be held. The second two apparatus coming tomorrow. And in the women's the vault. Medal in the women's oh. world. Well, the second final of the ladies, and I'm delighted to say, marching quite proudly at the front as the best qualifier for this asymmetric bars final, Shannon Miller, choosing not to compete in the vault final, but Miller is here for the United States of America. Chusov Atina of Uzbekistan, already picking up one bronze, Shannon Miller. Milicevic had to settle for the silver, and there is Dominique Dawes of the United States of America, and of course, Lysenko the bronze medalist from the all-around competition. So this proves to be a great battle here. In this asymmetric bars Any one of six Firstly of these competitors Pakistan has the ability three, to claim two, gold, Oksana and Shijovitina. it really will be a great one. Jusovatina for Uzbekistan. You've just America, seen her take the bronze medal in the vault. Shannon Miller, gold medalist in the all-around, not competing in that vault, but last we see her in the A-bars final. Milicevic. The Olympic gold medalist in the vault had to settle for the silver in the World Championships. He, Zhu Mei, the 15-year-old from Beijing, representing China. Next to come out will be Anya Portundo for Cuba, just 15 years of age. The United States of America. Dominique Dawes, a 16-year-old who came so close yesterday evening to gold medal. You can guarantee she'll look to make amends in this A-bars final. Andrea Kakovan. Kakovan of Romania, European junior champion, just 15 years of age. Tiny, the crowd certainly enjoy Kakovan's presentations. And Tatiana Lysenko, bronze medalist in the all-around competition. So a whole host of talent before you. Eight finalists for the asymmetric bars. They will take a warm-up. Haley, your comments and your favourite for this A-bars final. First of all, the women on the asymmetric bars having to use both bars, having a change of direction during their exercise. Three changes of bars from the high bar to the low bar and two flight elements. And we're going to see a lot of release and recatches. They're the big movements where they leave the bar, somersault and recatch. And that's where the mistakes could be made. I think it's going to be a very close competition. Um, Hard to say, I've not been right all the time, but I'd like to see Dawes compete well on this piece. She does a nice bar exercise, and also Shannon Miller. It's, it's a close competition. Well, the battle really is between Shannon Miller of the USA, if you study the form book. Shannon Miller was a bronze medalist in the Olympic Games back in Barcelona in this individual apparatus, but Milicevic is the current asymmetric bars world champion. Well, Milicevic has already seen one of her titles slip away, You've been pushed into silver medal position. So the form book says it's a Romania-United States of America battle. But I must agree with our expert here in the commentary box, Haley Price. It would be lovely to see Dominique Dawes make amends for just throwing that gold medal away in the last vault of the evening last night to go from first to fourth position in the overall medals. Kakovean, Andrea Kakovean there of Romania, junior champion of Europe. Looking a little pensive and good to see her competing in her first major title. Shannon Miller on the A-bars there, just taking her warm-up. We've seen Shannon Miller in an unbelievable form in the qualification. She was the best qualifier. She won all four of those rounds before the all-around competition. But we saw the great American nerve go in that all-around final where she made the mistake on the beam. So... We now know that Shannon Miller is human when so many of them, the journalists and her critics and admirers, called her the American robot. Steve Nuno has often been criticised for the way he trains this youngster. And Steve Nuno answers all his critics by saying, the girl just can't get enough of training and competitive action. Well, Shannon Miller starts this asymmetric bars final as the clear favourite, the first competitor will be the 17-year-old from Uzbekistan, Oksana Chusovatina. Miller will be the second, and Milicevic will go third. Chusovatina, bronze medalist in the vault, and the tension already really quite intense here.
We may see some changes of bar exercises, particularly when it comes to dismounts off the bars, because they're having to upgrade their dismount. Most of them already doing difficult dismounts, possibly seeing maybe extra twists involved in some of the girls' dismounts. Shannon Miller never claimed a gold medal. Bronze medalist in the asymmetric bars in Barcelona. And two years ago in Indianapolis, she was a silver medalist there. So looking for a personal best. There we have the start list. Chusovatina first up, then Shannon Miller, then Milicevic, Zumehi of China, Portumdu of Cuba. Dominique Dor, the one that everybody would love to see take a medal, is the sixth. Kakavian of Romania, seven. And the last competitor, Tatiana Lysenko of the Ukraine. Second final of the afternoon. The other two apparatus coming on Sunday. Live action. It's been uninterrupted from start to finish. And we see Oksana Chusovatina, the 17-year-old from Uzbekistan, looking to go one better than the bronze medal. She's already collected from the vault. And Haley Shannon Miller looking as nervous as ever there. Once you become the all-around champion, you quite often find that um, gymnasts relax, but this is definitely not showing with Miller. She's looking as uptight as ever, um, but she just wants to add to that collection of medals. Chusovatina gets the last final of the day for the ladies into action. Pakistan looking for medal number two in the individual finals. There we see the first four from the apparatus. I believe she made the same mistake yesterday. There she was going for the stoop through. Obviously couldn't get that right in training. Not a good start. There she will lose the value of the move completely. There, stoops through, out into Eagle. She's repeated the move, so the value will be added again. She's done it again. Up into handstand. Full twisting hop over the bar. She's another big mistake. She's lost it completely. Coach is talking to her, I think, too. Building up for the dismount. Full twisting double back. Disappointment there for Oksana Chusovitina of Uzbekistan to clear dismounts or falls from the asymmetric bars. And that quite clearly tells you how much pressure and how difficult it is here. Chusovitina, we will await the score. And the cheers already coming from the crowd. Or Shanna Miller of the United States of America. And Haley, once the one fall has come, so difficult to regain the composure and concentration to continue. That's exactly what happened here. She fell from the apparatus, lost that move, obviously realized she needed that move for bonus marks, repeated it again, but still couldn't get her confidence back up to the height it should be and fell again. And the step, well, <laughs> looks like she gave up by the dismount. Did even try to land that one. At one point in the routine, it looked as if Chusovatina wanted to throw in the towel while the remarks from the coach from the pit side of the apparatus and quite clearly getting a little bit of a ticking off there the coach with the bronze medal in her hand from the vault but it will be no medal for Chusovatina as Pakistan and await the score certainly with seven of the world's top asymmetric bar gymnasts to follow this one Shannon Miller Chusovatina will certainly not be amongst the medals Shannon Miller 
Silver medal in Indianapolis in 91. Bronze medal in Barcelona in 92. She's the best of the qualifiers coming into this final. 9.850 was the qualifying score for the American. Already taking one gold. Surprisingly, not taking her place in the vault final. And there is the coach, Steve Nuno. Giving her advice right up until the last moment. Hayley, possibly a little bit too much information from Nuno? I, I find it difficult to believe the amount of information he passes on to his gymnast before she's about to compete because I think maybe he's just a little bit nervous himself and quite intense. 8.325. Sovatina goes into first position as the first competitor of the eight finalists. The favourite, Shannon Miller. United States of America, just 16 years of age, four foot nine, and watch it move around these two bars. Here, giant hot full turn, very difficult combination into the Ginga somersault. Swings up to handstand with ease, another full twist in giant. Kachev and perfect double straight back perfect landing excellent exercise and Steve Nuno absolutely delighted well we've questioned whether he's giving the information a little bit too late he certainly have a very close relationship with Shannon Miller right up until the last opportunity talking through the routine trying to calm the athlete I have to agree with Haley Price I don't know who's more nervous the coach or the athlete in this but once again Shannon Miller under pressure pulls out another marvelous routine there we see the Ginga somersault shoot and releases over the bottom bar Floats through, good extension. Good full twisting giant. Kachev. And building up here for a very difficult dismount. 9.887. And that surely will be the one to beat. It's just a little better. 9.850, the score for the qualification. So putting on more pressure, Chusovatina goes into second position. And Shannon Miller puts the pressure on the world champion of the asymmetric bars next up. Lavinia Milicevic of Romania will be next. Shanna Miller has the perfect routine. Milicevic will need a routine of a lifetime to better Miller. Milicevic of Romania defends her world title. Lying back to catch high bar. Full twisting giant, full twisting giant, into the Ginga somersault. Another release and we catch there with a catch up. Giant circle, giant circle, into the full twisting double back with a not a good landing there, lacking in rotation. Well, that landing for Milicevic could be the few marks that are taken away to deny her retaining the title that she picked up in Paris last summer in the individual world championships. Here we see a well-executed catch of somersault. Shoots over the top bar. Building up here to the full twisting, double back somersault. 
knees apart during the second somersault will be a deduction. Milicevic claiming the silver in the vault final. Uh, has she done enough to take it away from Shannon Miller, who is in first position? And Miller looking to claim gold medal number two at the World Championships. New short haircut, different style this year for Lavinia Milicevic, 14 years of age. It certainly is a lot more of a mature look, but it's not enough to take first position away from Shalom Miller. 9.500 goes into the silver medal position. If she holds on to that placing, it will be silver medal number two. Shannon Miller holds on to first position and possibly now the only competitor in this final that can deny gold would be her teammate Dominique Dawes. He Zume of China, 15 year old from Beijing. Next up to the A bars to challenge the current leader Miller of the USA. There we have a very interesting combination into a Jaeger somersault. Slightly lost her legs there as she shot over the low bar into handstand. Full twisting giant. Catch her. And a full twisting double back somersault to finish with a very good landing. China yet to score a medal in these World Championships as we change over for the second four competitors in this final take their warm-up. This is where we see the height in the Jaeger somersault. Interesting combination beforehand. Slightly loses her leg form here, slight bend of the knees. Good extension. Up into the full twisting giant. Very well executed Kachev. Struggles a bit towards the end. Looks a bit laboured while she's um, casting to handstand. But builds up nicely. For the full twisting double back dismount. Here we see the dismount once again. Taps into it well, good height, above the bar, and a solid landing. Well, good smiles there from he, and he goes into second position. How about that? 9.712. So Milicevic finds herself in the bronze medal position as he Zume, the 15-year-old from Beijing, very close indeed to Shanna Miller, but Miller leads 9.887. Zume, he goes second, Milicevic is in third position. Well, it was a good routine as this is possibly the lady that can change the medal positions as we see them right now. Dominique Dawes, a 16-year-old from the United States of America and looking as exciting and as bubbly as ever. Haley, do you think that Dominique can finally claim the gold that she came so close to yesterday? I'd very much like to see that happen. She's, she's looking good in warm-up there, very sure of herself, very confident. And there's a lot of people out in the audience that would like to see her win the gold due to her disappointment yesterday. Um, fingers crossed. The one to four on your screens there. Chusovitina down in fourth position. The United States of America, China and Romania halfway through this last final of the afternoon for the women with the rings final to come after this for the men. And then the final three apparatus, and the final two apparatus for both men and women, live on Eurosport on Sunday afternoon, same times as today, 2 p.m. till 6 p.m. European time, 1 till 5 if you're in the United Kingdom.
warming up there Andrea Kakovien of Romania European junior champion getting her first taste of world championship competition and just coming to the right age to be able to compete in these world championships first up will be Anyar Portundo for Cuba 10th in the all-around competition just 15 years of age very creditable performance for Portundo in that all-around competition won by this lady Shannon Miller Tatiana Lysenko she will be the last competitor to go Lysenko third in the all-around competition 18 years of age Here we see the gymnasts chalking up. Some of them you can see wear hand guards and some choose not to. It's personal choice. But with a lot of the moves now being like the men's high bar moves, a lot of release and recatches, we are seeing a lot of girls wearing grips. The springboard going in for the Cubans mount. from our announcer, competitor number 225, Portumdo. It's the second half of this asymmetric bar final underway. 9.887, you need to be above if you're going to claim the gold medal. Straddle over the low bar mount, straight into the full twisting giant. Very high Jaeger somersault. Kachev straddles back over the low bar. Giant circle into another full twisting double back somersault. It really has been a good competition for the two Cuban girls. Anya Portondo and her teammate Rasoy Yova both qualifying for these two finals this afternoon. And of course, Portondo claiming qualifying for the all-around competition so it's a happy competition just to see the cubans represented here in the world championships and a gymnastic federation that seems to be improving each year of international competition this is a good angle to see the bars very well indeed shows the height of all the release and recatches shows whether the legs are straight or bent Very high and flighty Jaeger. She's worked well through this competition. Kachev somersault. And the full twisting double back somersault to finish. 9.500, joint third position with Milicevic, and that's a wonderful result for Cuba. So, like the United Kingdom, Cuba possibly claiming their first medal. Dominique Dawes for the USA, straight onto the asymmetric bars. This could be the big threat to Shannon Miller. We've just seen super height in that catch of. Shoots over the low bar. She really does make this swinging look easy. Giant full turn. Double twisting, oh, full twisting double back, rather. Dismount, good landing. Continual coaching, always fine tuning every part of the routine. Dominique Dawes with the coaching staff. And interesting, good routine from start to finish. She needs to score above 9.887.
to go into the gold medal position. I believe she caught her legs on the bar, which is what the coach was stressing and the reason why I actually missed that. M maybe. It was on one of the release and recatches. Shooting over the low bar. Throwing to handstand. Oh, here we have. I think that could have been a mistake there. Giant circle into the dismount. Nine point eight zero zero. So Haley Price quite possibly right there. A few errors in the middle of the routine. It's not enough. Dominic Dawes makes it to United States of America. One and two goes second. Shannon Miller is still in first position. Dawes goes into the silver medal, and he, for China, now goes into the bronze medal, 9.712. Karkovien of Romania, 15 years of age, European junior champion in her bid to split the Americans. We've just seen the fortissing giant and Kachev combination. Another release movement, the Ginga somersault, moving on to the low bar. Yet another release and recatch, that's three. And a perfect landing on that double straight back somersault. She'll be happy with that. This could make a big difference. The tiny 15-year-old from Romania looking to split the Americans in first and second position. China third, but it's very high scores that are required. Well, she was second in the qualification, 9.775. If she can score that again, it will be good enough to go into the bronze medal position. Karkovian of Romania. Threw into the handstand. Catch up. Showing good execution, nice straight legs. And perfect form in that double straight back somersault. Very interesting score to watch, 9787. She's done enough to go into the bronze medal position. Romania now push China out of the medals to go third. The USA still in first and second position. And one lady that certainly has the ability to change that one, two, and three, representing the Ukraine, just 18 years of age, Tatiana Lysenko, bronze medalist in last night's all-around competition. As a clear circle flying back to catch the top bar. Oh, into a very high Jaeger. Working the bars very quickly. Full twisting giant. And into the front away. Double front somersault with a half turn. No shortage of technical difficulty in that routine for Lysienko. The battle is on for bronze and possibly a silver medal position there. Lysienko only seventh in the qualification, 9.637. Here we see the high Jaeger somersault again. She really just gets right above the bar. And now let's hear it for the gymnasts as they leave the arena. Thank you, gymnasts. Into the handstand. Well, once again, the gymnasts marched out at a rapid pace. We really are struggling to try and get all these finals in within the time allocated for our television broadcast. But I can confirm very exciting finals to come.